Well, the cheetah are certainly not on the move. The wildebeest are. Now, what is going to happen? You literally saw the front wildebeest start streaming past these cheetah, and there's a lot more to come. I'm guessing there's still about another 100 wildebeest that will come streaming past these cheetah, and most of the young wildebeest are at the back of the herd. And as soon as a youngster strays close enough to them, I think these guys might surge at them. Look at the way they flattened themselves to the ground. The wildebeest, it's hard to believe, but they've got no idea whatsoever that these cheetah are here. And there's five of them, only about 30 meters away. Oof. Now what is going to happen? It's not as dark as it usually is when these guys really start revving the herds. So that's possibly why they're still a little bit apprehensive, but at any moment they may see a youngster that they see fit for dinner and they could surge forward and when they do the herd starts kind of running around they don't flee completely they almost run around in circles because they're not hugely intimidated by the cheetah so they just get an initial fright and it's then that they start kind of churning the, through these wildebeest until they manage to find a youngster bring it down some of you may have seen the footage of one of the cheetah getting bowled over by a mother wildebeest who came back to rescue its youngster. So wildebeest will stand up against these cheetah. Not always, but certainly from time to time. I cannot believe how incredible this is. What a beautiful, beautiful evening it is here in the Masai Mara. I'm told you are enjoying a wonderful sunset with James. So while the action awaits us, we will show you the view from where we are perched at the moment. Isn't that spectacular? Beautiful. I'm glad James isn't getting wet. You can see lots of rain out in those clouds over there. So he's obviously a little bit further north, I'm guessing. Very, very good. So there's still about another 50 or 60 wildebeest I'm guessing not easy to be certain how many and I can't believe these cheetahs haven't done anything yet but that is the beauty of it you may think you're getting to know these animals and may predict or have a guesstimate as to what they are going to do but very often they prove us wrong afternoon again this will assist the cheetah did the one on the right there try to kind of swivel itself to the side it didn't it wasn't the most graceful move but it did definitely swivel itself pointing more towards the wildebeest maybe that one's going to surge first oh there's a warthog <laughs> best you get out of there buddy although I think these guys really have become wildebeest hunting experts and be ready because at any moment now one of them could surge forward most of the young wildebeest I was talking about are starting to stream forward now Ooh, if this one here in the middle of the screen now strays too far away from any of the big ones I think they may have a go at it watch that cheetah on the right it seems to be getting the most prone and ready going through their heads wouldn't that be nice to know there's no ways they can be communicating with one another now I wouldn't think but individually all of them are express or displaying incredible patience and this is a skill that even the fastest mammal on the planet or fastest land animal on the planet needs to be able to succeed in bringing down some prey Ooh, that's a small one there you are lucky for now, it appears. Oh, have they got a fright? This may trigger a chase. For a lot of predators, if their prey don't run for them, from them... Oh, here they go! Here they go! Can you believe it? Just out of nowhere. You stay on that front one, Vim. I'll keep an eye on the others. Yeah, it's going. It's going to get it. Oh! Can you believe this? 
What a takedown. It looks like the other one might be going for another. They've got, have they got two or is it just the one? No, they've just got the one. The others are coming back to help. Well done, VM. I'm going to get us in there a little bit closer. Hold tight, everyone. I was supposed to do that quicker. I've gotten off to a slow start here. <laughs> I was so busy looking for others. There's a lot of vehicles also getting in. I don't want to put too much pressure on them, but it looks like everyone's stopping at a healthy distance, so that's the good news. Let's see if I can get the sunset behind. That's going to be a bit of an ask, so we'll skip that. This is a big wildebeest. They've still got their work cut out. That was such an incredible tackle and couldn't... Can you believe how just out of nowhere they surged forward? Oh, this may be hard for some of you, but it is nature. There's nothing we can do about this. They are trying to kill this wildebeest as quickly as they can, but I fear it may take some time. This is the biggest wildebeest I have seen them attack so far. Now, what we must all be aware of is that this wildebeest's bleats that it's letting out now, as saddening as it is to hear, it is also going to lure in any hyena or lion that may be in this area. So I'm scanning around just making sure that no hyena come barreling in, or even worse than that, any lion. We've seen this coalition of five male cheetah lose a kill to just one single hyena that already fed on most of it. But Can you believe how quickly and precisely that all unfolded? It was certainly the cheetah on the far right who was showing the most interest in making this kill that surged out of the blocks. And what an incredible takedown that was. Incredible camera work to VM. These things all happen so quickly and it's something that none of us are practiced in. Hence me taking two minutes to drop the clutch and get us here. But well done to VM. Incredible camera work. And well done to this coalition of the wildebeest machines, wildebeest machines, wildebeest killing machines. And for those of you on a lighter note who are worried that wildebeest is now going to retire, Vim, the cameraman, wildebeest, aka wildebeest, he is not. I was just joking around. It's just a joke that he said he would retire after he gets a good cheetah takedown. And I think that was certainly worthy of his joke. This is interesting because the squabbling behavior around the kill is something that is new to us. We haven't spent a long time with this coalition of cheetah, but only in the last week or so. Look at these two having a go at one another. All the beast isn't dead yet, so they should try and focus on doing that. I don't think it is dead. Though it must be close. It looks like Dartonian, the male with the collar, is going to show them how it's done. Yeah. Now, this behavior, we don't know who's who yet, and it's difficult in a chaotic sighting like this for me to even have a guess. But obviously, the male with the collar is easy to distinguish. He is one of the biggest of these five. And there is another big one. So there's two that are distinctly bigger than the others. And it looks like he's been showing that slightly smaller one, who is boss. You can see that one's trying to beg its way in. You see, I think this is another of the more mature males that's gone in on the chokehold now. They obviously Obviously not convinced that it's dead yet, nor am I. 
What was that, VM? A cat? So VM just had to what is called the drop in ND filter, so basically just assisting with the lessening light as the sun has just set. Well, everyone, what can I say to be able to witness a live cheetah hunt from the Masai Mara again is just the most phenomenal thing, and I'm so, so grateful to be sharing this with you we are so so lucky to be seeing these five cheetah do their business and it looks like the long hours spent archer has already paid off i'm still continually scanning to make sure no hyena come onto the fray it could happen at any point in time Hello to Mia, you'd like to know if there are any lion or hyena around in the general area and that I know of, and no, not that I know of, but one thing I can tell you is that there is no shortage of both of those animals in the Masai Mara ecosystem, especially hyena, so it's, there's a strong possibility one will come onto the fray. The wind could be helping these cheetah in terms of it muffling the sounds of this wildebeest bellowing or, or bleating and it will also be muffling the sounds of their argument which attack uh, attract some attention and they're so busy fighting over one another they're not forgetting to kill this wildebeest to be those two with their tails towards us and their heads away from us they could catch a stray hoof at any point in time oh here comes the first hyena on the left beam already the first hyenas here and on cue what is it going to do is it going to charge in and try and chase them all off alone it's just doing the maths first it is coming close now it's cleverly probably going to come behind the vehicles using a bit of our cover to sneak up on them and it may well try and call in reinforcements and other hyena like oh here it comes on the VM on the left now oh, they haven't had a mouthful of this look at this very characteristic maneuver that the cheetah use they lift their front legs up high and slam them down onto the ground to make themselves look more fierce and impressive now, is this hyena going to be greedy, keep quiet, and to the rest of the clan for reinforcements? It's an, it's an interesting scenario that plays out that a hyena has options to be selfish or to be greedy. If he calls in the rest of the clan, it knows it's going to have its work cut out for it. Lots of competition. This cheetah also knows it needs to start eating as quickly as possible. I wonder how that hyena got the message. Was it the sound? Must have been. The wind is blowing in that direction, so it could have blown those moans and groans of the wildebeest towards wherever that hyena was resting for the afternoon or the day. And I'm not convinced that these cheetah are going to get much of this meal. I think there's going to be more hyena coming in and who knows, that may mean another hunt this evening. Once darkness has fallen. Very, very interesting prospects, that is for certain. Whew. Well, I think all of us need to take a deep breath and compose ourselves after that manic action. It's been such a calm and pleasantly slow afternoon safari I would like to say at least from my point of view as you've had the joy of jumping on board with Tristan and James
but things have just taken a rapid, rapid spike in excitement and adrenaline and emotion. Whew. The hyena still just sitting off on the side there patiently and it appears like it is taking the selfish route as opposed to calling in the rest of the clan to chase off these hyena. Cape Turtle Dove, you would like to know what hide is the toughest to break through. I'm guessing most of your general kind of antelope have got similar thickness hides, you know, wildebeest and topi will be on a par and zebra, maybe buffalo slightly thicker. And then, you know, rhino, hippo and elephant will have the thickest of the skins to try and get through. It does appear like they are having a tough time getting through this. I think age also makes a difference. I think the older the wildebeest, the tougher the skin becomes, whereas the younger wildebeest might be a little bit softer and more supple to open. It appears that is the case. These guys are having trouble getting in here. There's great news. Tristan has been tirelessly tracking while we've been enjoying the sighting of these cheetahs. So why don't you go and have a look what he's found you. From the dam, I've been down here with a watsy. 